Minasang, konnichiwa. Zamurai Engineer Desk. So in this video, uh, let us uh, start our uh, course for this uh, current semester. Second semester of school year 2021-2022 with uh, the course title, Principles of Reinforced and Pre-Stressed Concrete. Okay. So in this uh, particular video, we will introduce the course. Okay. So introduction of this course would uh, start uh, with knowing your professor. Uh, I have previous uh, experience conducting this uh, course in um, about now about five years, so five years. So up to now, so five years experience. I am, um, as you would know, I uh, graduate of Taguig City University, a former faculty of uh, University of the Philippines a Japan government scholar in engineering and uh, an alumni of Polytechnic University, Japan. So what are the uh, learning objectives of this uh, video? So in this video, you must be able to describe the course. So B, recall its specification, references, and later on, you can list the topics to be covered in this course. Letter D, you can cite the detail of the grading system. And letter E, remember the course title definitions. So those are our um, target learning for this uh, particular video. Okay. So... Our uh, course code is actually CE E7. In short, PRPC, meaning principles of reinforced and pre-stressed concrete. Actually, PRPCD, because it is a design subject. Why? Because uh, according, according to the uh, government document, PRPC is a professional course common to all civil engineering students, and it provides fundamental concepts, principles, and theories in the structural strength analysis and design of what? Plain, reinforced, and pre-stressed concrete elements in an structure. So what do we mean by professional course? Professional course meaning professional in such a way that Later on, the knowledge you will gain from here has a practical application. And not just practical application, you can sell this knowledge in order to in order to earn a living. That is what we mean by professional. Okay. Okay, so the knowledge you will gain will give you money. Okay, in return for that uh, knowledge, for that application of knowledge. So it means it is very important. It's just a, uh, we are saying that this uh, course is a major subject. Well, okay, major subject. But it, this is a professional course, meaning we would like to uh, prepare you to your career, to your engineering career, to your engineer's career, to your engineering life later on one or two years from now, okay? And the knowledge that you will gain from this course will actually still could be used in your uh, career, okay? Not just in taking the board exam, it is very important, but also even the uh, engineers working in their, um, their own specialties, 
nowadays are still using this knowledge. And it is updated. Uh, this course is updated um, as best uh, eh, as best uh, as uh, the information, the codes and the standards are uh, being published. So, however, uh, your professor um, have a limited funding, limited. Uh, we do not have a laboratory area in order to store what? To store those textbook codes, okay? Not just textbook, codes, manuals are, uh, are uh, the materials that would give us uh, compensation for the work we will do. So that is what we mean by professional. So this information is is not to be used for free, no? If you use this information for free, then, and therefore, uh, what can you do with your life? Uh, you are uh, being what? Trained to be professional, meaning uh, these uh, courses are those courses that will earn you a living. If not, then what will you do? Okay, so this is what we mean by this. What are those information, principles, concepts, theories? Okay? These are practical in nature, meaning they are being used currently, right now. No? So we will follow those uh, concepts that are being used currently. Okay? In what field? Structural strength analysis and design. Of what material? Plain, reinforced, and pre-stressed concrete. So these are uh, the uh, information, the uh, coverage, and the description of our course. Okay. To continue, uh, we are using the government agencies' um, policies, of this course, uh, we call this course a specification. This course is um, actually four units. I will uh, look at each and every one of your uh, uh, registration, okay? Registration form later on. And uh, you must be uh, enrolled, okay? You must be enrolled. Otherwise, uh, we will not include you in our uh, in our GC, okay? So credit units for this course is four units, meaning three hours, three units lecture and one unit laboratory. How many hours per week? This course covers three hours lecture and three hours laboratory. Laboratory here means computation, problem solving. Prerequisite of this course, structural theory. So you have to uh, be prepared, review minimum knowledge about the structural theory whenever you would like to attend this lecture. Okay? Otherwise, I will let you uh, do your structural theory first okay? before doing this subject. Okay. And the uh, program outcomes of this um, course. Program outcomes, what do you mean by program? Program are the disciplines that you're studying, like what? BSCE is the program. BSCE is a program, not a course, okay? However, in our country, we are um, what culturally, traditionally uh, been uh, informed that BSc is a course. BSc is not a course. BSc is a program. Okay? okay? We will use the terminology as it is being used worldwide. Okay? 
in the Philippines, we call BCS a course. And we call um, CEE7 as a subject. Okay? That is not correct. The correct uh, terminology is a subject is the topic being discussed under the course CEE7. So CEE7 or principles of reinforced and uh, pre-stressed concrete is a course. And BCE is a program. What are uh, other uh, uh, example of programs? BSME, BSIE, they are programs. BSIT, they are programs. Okay. okay. BS criminology, they are programs. Okay. So the uh, objective of the program, as stated by the policies and the standards to burn and uh, instructed to us from the government, there are three specific from this course. Okay. A, apply math and science to solve complex civil engineering problems. This uh, objective is not introductory in nature. This is E, letter E, as you can see. This is enabling, enabling uh, subject, enabling topic. Okay. okay. What topic are I talking about? The subject math and science. They are topics that uh, are necessary to be applied to solve complex civil engineering problem in this course. Okay. So we will enable, meaning what you learn from mathematics and science. That means including structural theory. Structural theory is uh, science. It is a science of uh, mechanics. Okay. Structural theory is under mechanics. So, another one, letter B. Introductory course. Design, analyze, interpret data. We will introduce to you how to design, analyze, and interpret data. Okay, basic form. We will not delve into uh, deeper knowledge, but we will just introduce, summarize, give uh, simple uh, simple uh, practical problems okay? and solve pro simple practical problems. Okay? Although those problems are real life problems, we will not uh, uh, give you complex design problem. We will give you complex mathematics and science problem as it is shown in letter A. But in terms of design, we will not. We will only give you introductory type of problems, okay? And letter K, use techniques, skills, and tools necessary for civil engineering practice. Another enabling course, okay? So we will enable you to gain knowledge, skill, techniques, and tools. Okay. So maybe we cannot do it 100% because, for example, tools. Uh, we don't have uh, computer application softwares. They are expensive. So we cannot use the pirated copy because we are an academic institution. Okay? So it's not possible. And uh, there are several, uh, like CAD, AutoCAD, or uh, 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 what? Uh, PEM, FEM. So there are uh, several of these, but uh, unfortunately, we cannot do it. So the tools that uh, we are going to use are manual tools, okay? Manually. We will do it manually, okay? What about uh, the objective of the course itself? 
the students must be able to, at the end of the semester, okay, understand the stress strain characteristic of concrete for, for all stages of loading. Okay? Take note, structural theory terminology, loading, load, okay? characteristic, stress strain. Okay? Later on, we should understand it properly. Stress strain characteristic of concrete. Okay. Concrete. So maybe concrete is a new material for you because that is this is this first subject that you will learn about concrete. Okay. Maybe you already learned about, of course, we already learned about stress or strain characteristic stages of loading, but for a particular material concrete. This is the first time. Number two, later on, you would be able to evaluate the strength of the structural, plain, reinforced, and pre-stressed concrete elements. In all of this application, what are those? Axial, bending, shear, and torsion. So we already know what do we mean by axial, bending, shear and torsion. We will just immediately use the formula. We will not lecture about axial bending shear and torsion. However, we will discuss the application of axial in concrete, the application of bending in concrete. Okay, That's why it is our responsibility as a student to review what do we mean by axial bending shear and torsion and familiarize with those formula and the methods and techniques that is uh, related in your study of theory of structure. Okay. Number three, we must be able to apply ASD and LRFD design methods. So there are two design methods that we will uh, discuss in this whole semester. We will do it for all of the elements all of the concrete elements that are uh, involved in order to basically construct a usable structural uh, system, like what? Building, like bridge. Okay? So we will identify all those uh, elements and apply two methods in order to analyze and design uh, those uh, uh, concrete elements, okay? What about the outline of this uh, particular course? According to CMO 92, series of 2017, policies, standards, and guidelines for BS civil engineering, we should as a minimum knowledge, be able to discuss the following. Number one, concrete properties as construction material. Number two, we should be able to analyze flexural strength of RC. What is RC? Number three, design for flexural strength of RC. Number four, analysis and design for shear of RC. Okay? Number five, analysis and design for torsion of RC. Number six, analysis and design for compression members of RC. Okay. All of these are RC. And number seven, we should discuss pre-stressed concrete. Okay. So RC meaning reinforced concrete. PC, pre-stressed concrete. So the textbook and references, codes, and manuals that would help us. These are the minimum uh, on your uh, starting on your left side. ACI code. ACI means American Concrete Institute. This organization is uh, established and is still existing in uh, United States. I think uh, it started 1921. Up to now, they are uh, the uh, worldwide known organization uh, producing standards and being adopted by different countries around the world. 
sports, including our country. So about all about uh, concrete. Okay, we will use actually ACI three one eight. That's nineteen. If uh, if uh, available, that is the newest uh, version of the code. My copy of the code is 318-16, okay? So every three years, they are actually um, updating their code. And actually, uh, this year is uh, 2022, they will uh, actually update another uh, series, another version this year. Maybe later on in uh, this year, about uh, September to December, I think. Another uh, important one is the National Structural Code of the Philippines. So NSCP, the latest code is 2015. As you can see, it is printed 2016, but this is uh, adapted 2015. And this being uh, uh, but uh, proposed by uh, Association of Structural Engineers of the Philippines. Okay? So meaning it is a local code and this local code NSCP or National Structural Code of the Philippines is actually a referral code of National Building Code of the Philippines. Okay? Another important. Another uh, one is you can pick any uh, textbook you want. So, this is uh, one textbook that I have uh, been using. So, Design of Reinforced Concrete by uh, McCormack and Brown. So, there are uh, plenty of textbooks and they are uh, uh, equally good, but uh, if ever, use the textbook that uh, use ACI, uh, standard. If you use textbook that is uh, uh, made or authored by European, there's a possibility that they are not using ACI standard. There is an equivalent standard and code in Europe. Okay. So McCormack and Brown for me and uh, Preferences, codes, and manuals also. Uh, you can use ASCE. ASCE meaning American Society of Civil Engineers, minimum design loads for buildings and other structures. We can uh, use this. We have to use this because uh, we want to know the design parameters for uh, loading of a structure. Either it is a building, or otherwise. Again, uh, the same picture for uh, NSCP, and uh, the next one is another author um, for reinforced concrete mechanics and design by uh, White McGregor. Okay? White and McGregor. So they are uh, uh, good authors. This are textbook. This this are textbook, and this textbook, these authors use uh, ACI 318, ACI 318 standard code. Okay. Handbooks and reviewers that uh, will also help you. So fundamentals of reinforced concrete, this is a blue book. Here, as you can see, uh, you can see it as black, but this is a blue book. It is a code for Visabilia, no? Blue meaning Visabilia. Okay. So on your uh, center, it is a fundamental sobre reinforced concrete design by uh, Gilisanya. This is a green book because it is uh, Gilisanya, letter G, green. Okay? It's a code for green. No? Okay, so these are reviewers that may help you after learning the course. So you don't actually need to 